This is pretty wild. This is like a warehouse in Traverse City, but these are all boxes of like Amazon Prime things. So. This over this seat. I think I'm golden. Crank this thing over and over and over. This was not nearly as complex as I expected it to be to get this in the car. The ultimate cargo vehicle, AMC Hornet. I bet this is the first time somebody's had an AMG front bumper in the side and back of their AMC Hornet. But I guess I could be wrong. I don't know. I was recording. I just got followed by a cop for like two miles, uh, and then he gave me a thumbs up when he drove past me. That's so cool. Bumper has been delivered to Bill Marsh Body Shop, and now I can go to work. So this is the dealership that I bought the car through. They did some paint work right when I first, got, like actually before I took delivery. Uh, they replaced the rear bumper because it had a hole in it. They had great service. The paint matched perfectly. Like it looked really good. Oh, there's my car right there. Uh, it's fun, thank you. Wow. This car gets so much attention, I love it. I'm an attention whore. C63 front bumper for my C450. I have to pay that, but I'll tell you why in a second. What happened on my car? So the front bumper was cracked from like when I hit a curb or something and doing donuts and the hood was smashed from when I hit a deer and then the fender skirt thing was messed up when I drove it off the lift. So. I had all of that being done uh, as an insurance claim. I had talked to the shop and asked them if I could do a C63 front end conversion and just pay the difference while they had the car apart. And they're like, yeah, sure. It turns out that the conversion pieces were actually less expensive than the factory thing. So it would have saved me money. So I ordered them, whatever. It took forever. The seller like sat on it and then the shipping company had it for like two weeks and it was lost and whatever. So. At some point last week, I told the body shop, because we were just waiting, the car was all taken apart and they couldn't finish it. The guy was like, just order the OEM parts and I'll just, I'll, whatever, I'll figure out the other bumper stuff, I'll return it or dispute the charge of my credit card or something if it never comes. Like, I'm over it, just get it done. So they did. Fast forward to Monday, the bumper showed up. So I went and picked it up and like, I'm like, is can you guys paint this thing and just whatever? So they painted it, it's gonna look good. I just didn't have them put it on the car. I wanted the factory stuff on the car because I wasn't sure how the aftermarket stuff was gonna fit. That's why I have two front bumpers for this car. I was supposed to be able to keep the hood too, but they accidentally gave it to their scrap guy or something, which sucks, but whatever. The hood. So they replaced the whole hood. Uh, it's aluminum and I guess they didn't wanna like do it. The front bumper is new and the grill is old. Headlights are old, these are old, these are old. They did replace this fender, that fits kind of crappy, but that's how Mercedes are, like the clips are weird, so I bet when I put the other front end on, it'll be fine. Um, there's two dents that I'm gonna have fixed by a paintless dent guy. There's one right here, I don't know if you can see it. Um, that was there when I bought the car, and there's one, uh, like two right here. These are because I'm an idiot. Uh, when the car was stuck on the lift, I pushed right here and dented it. So I think that both of those could probably get PDR'd out pretty good, but whatever, I'm not that worried about it. I had them paint them all at the same time, so they'll be the same color. But when all the trim is on, this is gonna look so sweet. I think I'm gonna go get the trim and put it all on. It's gonna look so good. I should probably have like a blanket or something under this, but I don't really care about it that much because I'm just gonna drive it, probably scratch it on stuff too. I figured out why this is so hard. There's little tabs I have to cut off that I didn't realize I have to cut off. That explains that. These will snap in so easy once that is broke off. I often refer to myself as a hillbilly and it is exactly reasons like this. So yes, I am painting the front bumper with a can of spray paint in my basement. And yes, I masked it with garbage bags. <laughs> But I think it's gonna look good. So I'm gonna do like matte black for this part. And then I have some carbon fiber vinyl, so I might like carbon fiber wrap the trim pieces or do gloss black, I haven't decided yet. I 
think it looks pretty good. I bought all this carbon fiber vinyl like a year ago to wrap the roof of the CRX and I did it and I didn't really like the way it looked, but I gotta say, I'm pretty pumped with how the first piece came out. I'm just using like a heat gun and kind of taking my time. So looks pretty sweet, I think. All right, I didn't really record the process of doing this, but it came out super sweet. I'm really happy with it. So I ended up wrapping this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. And then this is painted it's like a matte black. I couldn't decide. Originally, I was just gonna paint these pieces black. These ones came black uh, and these ones were silver, but yeah, I'm so glad I did that vinyl. Like, it's not perfect, but for a daily driver that I drove around for a year with the hood smashed in, this looks awesome. So I think it came out really good. Things have escalated quickly. I literally picked this car up yesterday from the body shop where they finished it. And I was like, ah, I'm just going to wait. And once I got the front bumper all assembled, I couldn't wait. It looks so good. It's starting to look like a car again. I'm pretty excited. It fits relatively well. Um, you can see it's not perfect right there. Uh, I could probably, I'll probably like tune it. Nothing's tightened down yet. There's no screws up in here, but overall looks pretty sweet. Um, finishing up this side, I got to just put one more bolt here and then I have to put all the pins and stuff back in it, tighten everything. And then it's good to go. As expected, it doesn't fit perfectly, but it fits as good as the bumper I took off. So whatever, uh, this side right here fits really good. This side over here, not as much. It's mostly dirty for my hands, but it's not quite as perfect, but it's pretty close. Um, gap is pretty good. I, I might have that's tree sap. I might take it to like a body shop and have them like actually fit the right way. But, um, I want to order the correct grill. And other than that, I think it looks pretty sweet. Definitely looks like a C63.